Um, all right, let's do this one. It says, write an equation on a line written in the slope-intercept form. Who can rattle that off off the top of their head? No, that's point-slope form. Which one's the slope-intercept form? It has a slope and the y-intercept. Y equals mx plus b, right? Okay. Now, it tells us, though, for the line that has the slope of negative 2, so I know that m is equal to negative 2, and passes through the point x sub 1, y sub 1. In other words, x sub 1 is equal to negative 5, um, y sub 1 is equal to negative 3. So the point slope form of this, I'm going to fill that in later, but over here to the side I'm going to say y minus y sub 1 is equal to m times x minus x sub 1. Now this, er, this right here is what we call the point slope form because we plug in a point and we plug in the slope. So there's a slight difference, okay? Well, then I have y minus what's y sub 1? Negative 3 times the, or I'm sorry, equals the slope, which is negative 2, times the quantity x minus x sub 1, which is actually uh, negative 5. Now, when you minus a minus, it becomes a plus. Okay, so this really becomes y plus 3 is equal to negative 2 in parentheses x plus 5. Now, I'm just going to rewrite that up here. This is technically the simplified version of the point slope form. Now, if you were to write it like this, I would be okay with that answer, too. I'm okay either way. So I would say negative 2 times the quantity x plus 5. Now, in order for me to get the slope-intercept form, the y equals mx plus b, i got to do a little bit of math. I'm going to distribute this 2 through the parentheses. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times positive 5 is negative 10. And I have y plus 3. I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides. And I get y equals negative 2x minus 13. y equals negative 2x minus 13. All right, how do I double check that? Plug it in the calculator. I'm going to say y equals minus 2x minus 13. All right, it looks, uh, and then it has to pass through negative 5, negative 3. So somewhere down here, negative 5, negative 3, I'm just going to type it in as a point, negative 5, comma, negative 3. And we'll label that. Does that line pass through that point? Yep. So er, that works, right? Let me take a screenshot of that. And we'll plug that in. That's how you verify it to make sure that your equation is right. Okay. So tomorrow I'm going to let you use Desmos to graph things to double check your work because the other Algebra 2 classes are going to have graphing calculators. I don't have a set of graphing calculators. I'm working on getting you guys some. Uh, but when you do the equation of the line, you just graph it to double check. What if I graph it and it doesn't pass through the point? What does that mean? It means you made a little mistake somewhere. Probably forgot to minus a minus or something like that. Okay. So then you go back, double check your work. Um,